Good morning everyone. It's Monday. It's uh, around 11 and um, I promised to make a video about uh, how to use the Vallejo paint again because some people are not getting their right uh, outcome and I'll try to explain why. So um, this is the updated September sponsor list. There you go. Thank you all for the sponsorship. I love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. Love you. Now the thing is that I for this I um I got a new bottle of Floetrol Overtrol, and it's um it says it on in French, but underneath it says I don't know. <laughs> uh, just um it 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 helps um, leveling out the paint. That's it. Now. I got a cup and as you can see the seal is uh, still uh, closed so I'm gonna open the seal not shake it too much there it is now when I pour this out right from the top well this one is um, this one I think it is shaken a little I've had it before where about one eighth of the um, the substance was very watery on top so what you want to do is when you use this you always always shake it always every single time you use it you shake it and what I usually do is I put the um, I, I shake it up really well and then I put it in a uh, bottle a 250 milliliter 8 ounce I think you call it so see that that's the consistency and I'm gonna take you down and show you from the side because I think it's important that you check that you have the good stuff that it's all shaken so let me get my little support for my iPad and put you in here like that and get a little stick so I can show you the consistency Oops, where are you? There you are. This is the consistency. See that? It just flows off the stick. Just like that. That's what it should look like. Let me do it a little further off the camera. That is it. Now I'm going to um, pour this back in. like that and I'll show you how it looks see how how it pours that's what it should look like that is the flow troll I use now I'm pretty much messing up my um, my table but that doesn't matter so now um, I will um, I will uh, mix it right here so you can really see it so I put a little cup here, let me turn it a little bit, there it is, take this away, hope it's in focus, there it is, now, uh, this way, you really don't need to use a scale, that's the, the thing about this, this is not rocket science, really it isn't. All you have to do is make sure that you put a little paint, always shake everything, even these little bottles, you have to shake it. It says, uh, it also says so on here, shake before use, so always shake your paints. Then I'll put it on zero and I'm doing grams at the moment. I'm putting in six grams. So there's six grams of, no, no, seven, seven grams of paint. Then I'll see what that is in ounces. That's, uh, let's see, millimeters, grams. That's uh, 0 0.3 fluid ounces. Nah, 0 0.2, 0, yeah, it's 0 0.3. Now, then I come in with the, uh, with the flow troll. And I'm putting it in a little cup just to make it a little easier. 
So I'll go back to grams. Six uh, seven milliliters. So I'm gonna put in seven twenty one twenty eight. Uh, seven to seven is fourteen, fourteen to fourteen, twenty-eight. That's thirty-five in total. So now I'm doing a mix of one to four. So one part paint, four parts flow troll. Now I'm gonna stir it up. Oops, so that you can see it. And it really it stirs up really well. And I don't really care for this color, but just for the sake of experiment or just for the sake of example, I'm going to use this. So see how it comes off the stick? This is exactly the consistency you want. This is exactly the right consistency. Let's put some really... See that? Let me show you a little bit better. There it goes. That's the right consistency. It's not too thin. So that's number one. Then I'm gonna get the next one. Put it on zero. Oops, didn't shake. Always shake your um, paint. Never forget to do that. Now this, the white is always a little bit thicker. So I'm putting in also 7, and I'm going to go to 35 in total grams. This is the last of the flow troll. Now I'm going to pour it back in the cup, because it's easier to pour than out of one of those large things. So now we're going to mix it up again. Oops. So that you can see it. And there's no uh, dimethicone, no silicone, nothing is in here yet. So just mixing up the paint so that you can see how it comes off the stick. Let me put that away so you get a good view. This is exactly what you need. Now I'm going to put you back up, guys. Because it's easier to show you all what I'm doing. So the next one, I'll take the uh, turquoise, and it's almost uh, finished, this bottle. So then what I do is I pour some uh, Floetrol into the bottle, like that. And remember, there's no water. You don't put any water in here. Get the gooky stuff off the top. That's one bit, a little bit more. I think there's someone at the door. Well, they'll just have to go to the garage. Okay, that's a lot of turquoise. Uh oh, <laughs> I did something stupid. I put the um, I put the white in the turquoise. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. We'll just add some more of this uh, because you know, like I'm saying, it's not really rocket science at all. You just mix it up a little. There you go. Oops, a little smidget on the... So, that's the white. Now I'm going to mix a little bit because I got too much, too much paint. Okay, we had that one. We can close it. Now we want a darker color. That's this one. 
the 404. The blue, the other blue was the 416. And the turquoise color is the teal 426. I'm getting a lot of new paint next week, I hope. How much did I put in there? I don't care. Um, that's the white. We don't touch that. This one is for the teal. This is silicon. Not for silicon. This is a floatron. Let's put some more in the cup. That's enough. Mixing it up. And um, the, the Vallejo really has very little, um, very, very little bubbles. Just tiny little ones on top. If you um, let it stand for about, I don't know, half an hour, the most of them are, are gone. I just do this. Just tap it a little bit and help the bubbles to the top and they will uh, disappear. As you can see at this one. See that? Only a really small, a few small ones. Okay, now I do want a green color. So we're going to put that one on there. And we're going to start with this color. It's a 428. And put a little bit in there. Then I'm going to come in with the permanent green. That's the 409. I'm going to come in with a lot of low draw. And we're going to mix it up. And see what a beautiful color we get. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm just not so fond of the uh, permanent green. I like these beautiful, beautiful, vibrant greens. And I don't think the uh, permanent green is vibrant, so that's why I just put a little bit of yellow in. Look at that beautiful color. Okay, so that's it. Now, we have all the colors mixed. We have a white, we have the green, we have the teal, we have a blue, and we have a dark blue. Now bear with me, because I have to do this in Dutch too. Right? Okay. Um, lieve mensen, uh, ik heb wat um, uh, van sommige mensen gehoord dat die... Uh, problemen hadden met de dikte van de verf, maar het gaat erom dat je goed schudt. De Floetrol, dit is wat ik gebruik, deze moet je echt goed schudden. Dus goed schudden en als je oh, my thing is falling down. Oh. <laughs> uh, goed schudden en dan uh, voordat je het gebruikt en dat geldt ook voor de verf. Als je, ik zal het één keer van de zijkant laten zien. Hoe het eruit ziet. Let's see. Daar. Oops. Oops. That's it. Uh, het moet er zo uitzien. Dus als je het kapje hebt. Dit is hoe dik het is. Dit is hoe de vloedtrol daaruit moet zien. Soms wil de uh, vloedtrol, vooral als het lang in de winkel staat, en dat is bij mij niet het geval, want ik bestel nooit zoveel dat ik uh, zeg maar een paar maanden hier heb staan. Maar dit is echt, zo komt het ook uit, met, bij mij uit de fles. Maar dit is de perfecte dikte. Als je nou alles goed mengt, en daar doen we één deel verf, vier delen vloedtrol, dan zul je ook zien dat je deze dikte hebt. En dat is de perfecte dikte om te gieten. Perfect. Yes. Now we're going back to English. Let's get everything in focus here. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to put this back in the, uh, in the can. Don't want to waste it because... Even though it's not as expensive as pouring medium, it's still expensive stuff. We don't want to waste any of it. 
Zoals ik al zei, ik doe even um, de Floatrol terug in de bus. En ik kan, want het is al duur genoeg. Even de dap erop. Zo, so, oké. Okay. Nou, this is my Dimeticon. See, it says on the bottle, Dime. Dimeticon. And what I'm going to do is put uh, one drop in the green, two or three in the white, two or three in the teal, two drops in the blues. That's it. I sell the uh, the Dimeticone. Uh, it's a 60 milliliter bottle, really, but I sell it as 50 milliliters. Um, als je van mij de Dimeticone koopt, zit het in een flesje. Er zit uh, nou bijna 60 milliliter in. En het ding is dat je daarmee, nou ja, dan kun je ongeveer wel 50, 60 keer mee gieten. Want dat, je hebt zo weinig nodig. Um, echt, zeg maar, zoals in de wit. Zo ik, heb ik nu uh, drie tot vier druppels gedaan, ook in de teal. Maar um, ja, je zult zo zien. Uh, je zou zelfs kunnen uh, proberen met uh, twee of drie druppels alleen in de wit. Dan gegarandeerd dat je ook cellen hebt. Zo, so that's it. Last one. Nou. Dat is uh, hoeveel ik roer als ik de uh, siliconen erin heb gedaan. Yeah. That's probably you, Lisa, but I'm videoing, so sorry about that. Can't take your call. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, let us see. You can see my, uh, my code, I don't care. Oh no, it's not. Oh yes, it is too. Oh... Okay, I'll get to that later. <laughs> it's it's a, another blow up behind the scenes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta think it's funny, really it is, because people, if we were just to be relaxed about this stuff, this is not rocket science. People are claiming things like, um, you know, the thing is that uh, when someone does something like the tree ring pour, then all of a sudden uh, that's their thing and no one can do it without claiming or saying that but <laughs> uh, I find it so funny the thing is that pouring um, paint on top of each other has been done for a million years <laughs> so oh boy that's why I say anything I make anything I do any technique you you see me do for the first time I don't care. Do a uh, do play with it. Do go and have fun with it. Sell it. I don't care. You know you cannot claim art, not the way you make it, because I'm sure even what we're doing now, this has been done hundred hundred times before, thousands, millions. Okay, let's get to the pour. Now, um, instead of beginning with the white, I thought I'd just begin with something else. So we're going to put some blue, we're going to put in some turquoise. I do like the green with the turquoise, so I'm going to double up on the turquoise on the green. Then I'm going to put in a lot of white, and a little bit of blue, and again, a little bit of blue. Now I have about, uh, this is about 150 mils. To make to make sure I will weigh it. So get a cup. So this is let's put this on the table. And first I'll do it in milliliters. Put it back to zero. Now the whole cup weighs 105 milliliters. 105. Oh yeah, and we have to know what it is in ounces. It's uh, 3.7 fluid ounces. That's it. 3.7 fluid ounces. So that's what we're going to pour with. Now, ooh, I didn't put the push pins in. Okay, too bad. Putting it all away. Let's just do a uh, pour out of my hand like this. Okay, see how fast those cells pop 
and look at the thickness of the paint it's perfect so we're gonna put it over there and let it go over there so like that and I'm gonna pour on top of it again see how thick it is it could have even been a little bit thinner because it's not really running that fast Uh, maybe I need a little palette knife again. And yeah, no, just let it run off. I'm going to help it a little bit. There it goes. Almost there. There it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to clean my hands. Maar wat ik hiermee wil laten zien is dat eigenlijk de, um, de verf gewoon prima dikte heeft. Prima. So, as you saw, the paint has the perfect thickness. And now I'm going to torch it. And here come the cells. And really pretty cells. A little up here, a little down here, and the rest I'm just gonna let stay there. I'm not gonna do this bit. So, here it is from up close. See that? So, now for the people that are saying the paint is way, way, way too thin, I think. And I'm saying, I think, I think you didn't shake your flow troll or something like that, because look at all the cells here. <laughs> As you could see, I just took it out of the a new a new uh, bottle of flow troll, and you saw me mix it. This is it. So if your flow troll is thinner, it's not good. Something it might be old. It might be I don't know, because before we started doing this. Um, I'm going to pour over this, by the way, because I don't like it. Um, before we started pouring a lot, like the whole world, I think a lot of uh, shops had that flow troll for the painters. And maybe some of it is has been on the shelves for, I don't know, maybe quite some time. And that's sort of what might ha have happened to the flow troll, that it became too thin or, I don't know, something like that. So let's see what we can do with it. I kind of like this. Now I'm going to make them a little bit wider because I like that. I'm going to make this into a real abstract. Oh yeah, I like that. That is something totally different. Just want to play with it a little bit more. Wow, I like this. I just want the bottom bit to drip off a little. Then it's perfect. Look at that. That is really pretty. I like this. I really do. Yeah. I'm just... Ooh. That is beautiful. This too. It's like a wave. That's it. And that was more for the air bubbles than anything else. Just let me make it a little bit bigger because I really like the way um, it's acting. Look at that. I love it. See, there are cells everywhere, but it has this beautiful, beautiful motion in it. I love it. Wow. Let me get you up close. Look at that. I really, really like it. 
See where the, the little cells got all pushed and squished together? And then on top there's this beautiful wavy kind of pattern. I love that. I would like this really big, by the way. Only I'd make the ribbons really even broader so that it would... Oh yeah, I think I might do that. But I'll have to wait till this weekend. Yeah, that is cool. Okay, this is turning into a really long video, so... <clears throat> uh, I'm switching to Dutch again. So, so as you can see, the, the dikte van de verf is perfect. Uh, de uh, vloedrol heb ik gewoon uit de, uit de nieuwe kan genomen. Je hebt mee zien mixen. Je hebt, uh, dit is zelfs 1 op 4. Je kunt zelfs teruggaan naar 1 op 3. En dan is het alleen uh, iets meer geconcentreerd en waarschijnlijk uh, een klein beetje dikker. Maar dat kun je doen. Maar ik kan je beloven, dit werkt perfect. Dus de mensen waar de verf te dun van is, of je hebt een verkeerde vloedrol gebruikt... Want ik weet dat sommige mensen Floetrol kopen bij de Gamma of bij de Karwei. Dat is heel wat anders dan dit. Dat kan ik je echt verzekeren. Um, er is ook een discussie gaande of, je, of uh, hier binders in zitten. Absoluut, hier zit binders in. Ik heb contact gehad met de fabriek. En ze hebben mij verzekerd dat er hierin uh, heel veel binders zitten. So, now back to English. This is um, what you get. You saw me mix it out of the can. Uh, I opened the can on video. No tricky stuff. Just flow troll and paint and a little bit of dimethicone. You saw me mix it. You saw me pour it. Um, this is even a one to four mixture. You can go down to one to three. Uh, it'll be then, it'll be a little more concentrated, maybe a tiny bit thicker, but I don't think you'll really notice that. But the thickness of the paint is perfect, as you can see. And I gotta put this away now. Uh, the thickness is perfect, as you could see. And I'm gonna put a little on here just to show you uh, what a swipe does. So you can even just swipe it like that. Look at that. Now, if that is not the best, best paint ever, I don't know what is. Because it is just so beautiful. And you can even torch the runoff. Look at that. I'll give you a close-up of how well this stuff sells. Look at that. So even if you did a swipe with it, and now I'm thinking I should do a, I should put this on a, a canvas because I wanted to have a background. I want to do one of those um, fish again. Let's see, this is a good canvas, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that. It's going to be long, long, long video, but who cares? You can skip, skip through it. You can go fast forwarding. You can do anything you like. Just don't whine about how long it is. Because you don't have to watch it. I had someone, someone told me, they said, you, should, you, you shouldn't talk so much because um, the pouring started at 10 minutes into the video. And, uh, <laughs> and you could have made that video a lot shorter. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, okay. And I said, you know what? Maybe you could go and sign up for a senior workshop how to how to watch videos on YouTube. I know I was being smart ass, but I really mean that maybe that person is a little old and they don't know how to fast forward because why would you say that in the comments? You know, you can just fast forward. You don't have to watch all everything I do. Don't have to. Even this, you can just fast forward it. Now look at that, we got it covered. Now what I do want to do is put a little on the side because I, I want to do a, another transfer. I got some transfer medium from um, Vallejo. So I want to try that out. And on the other, 
other hand, you know, using the drip off is kind of nice too, right? See how the silicone, uh, how you can see that all? All that silicone gives all those little dents. Well, th they'll be gone when it's dry, but that, that's how the uh, silicone gets um, mixed up in the paint. Let's see. That's it, nice and smooth, nicely covered. I'm gonna lay it in here anyway. <laughs> okay, now with, with what I have left, now I do need some white. Let's put some more white on here. It's almost empty. So then what I do is just pour Floetrol straight into the bottle. Just like that. Put the cap back on. Shake it up. And pour it in the cup. Put in a little dynamicone. And stir it up. Okay, we're ready. Now someone said wax paper and I forgot to bring me some wax paper. Oh, that's too bad. Oh no, I have it there. I see it. Oh, we're gonna have fun. Okay, we're gonna put just here and there a little bit of white. See that? So like that. Because I want this to look like um, water underneath the water. That's it. Whoops. Then I'm gonna pour the what's left of this other paint. And some more blue. Wow, I see the the cells are popping. That's it. A little bit more. Then the last of the turquoise. That's it. And of course, here and there, a little touch of green. Not too much. Has to be believable that it's underwater, right? I'm doing it fast, guys. Okay. I hope this is the right paper, though. It looks like wax paper, doesn't it? Okay. Okay. What side is waxy? That looks like the wax is on this side. Putting it on here, doing a little squishy, and wham, gonna take it off. Wow, that is cool. I'm even gonna, look at that, I'm gonna save the paper. Can you see that? How cool is that? So I'm saving the paper. Oh, there's a little bit. I should have thought about that. Okay, we'll have to swipe it. Yeah, I needed more mixed anyway, so let's do that. Put a little bit more here on the side. I'm going to keep that paper because that looked kind of awesome, right? Now, a little bit more white here. Let's do it. Yeah, I hate it that it doesn't that it didn't take that. Got a little booger thing here. 
Gotta take that out. Bling. That's gone. Okay, that looks like a little like water, only I think I should tilt it a little bit just to make it move a little because you don't want those really sharp lines. That looks a little better. Yeah, that's believable. I think that looks like uh, like water. Look at the, all those little cells. I like it. Do have to work a little on the uh, on the canvas, covering it. That's it. I don't see any canvas popping through there. Not there. That's it. I'm gonna leave it like that and let it dry. And then I'm going to do a transfer on it. I'll search for one this afternoon when I'm at work. Oh no, I have a meeting. But I can do that tomorrow, of no, Wednesday. I'll find a really cute one. I'd like to put an octopus on it. I like octopuses, octopi, whatever. <laughs> okay, this is a really long video. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun. <clears throat> I'm really having just too much fun. Okay, stopping right here. This is my background. I'll show you what I do with it in a different video. I love you all to pieces. See you in the next video. Bye.